Hi, it's Jocelyn. So I just finished solving Avenue Code 2021 Day 3, and I did not do well on this one. Um, I'm going to go quickly over just what I did, just because um, watching me flail for half an hour over stupid things is probably not very fun. So in this case, what we're trying to find in part one is the power consumption, which is the gamma weight rate times the epsilon rate. And what are these? Well, the gamma rate is the most common bit um, in the corresponding position, um, like laid out into a binary number, and then that interpreted as a number. So um, for example, if you look at these numbers here, um, if we're just looking at the first digit, there are more ones than zeros, so the first digit of the gamma rate is one, and so on for the remaining digits. This itself took me just like a long time to parse, um, but there you have it. Um, and then, like it says, you um, you take the um, you take the result and you convert that into decimal, and that's your gamma rate, and then. Um, for your uh, for your epsilon rate, that's the same thing except with the least common um, digit in each column instead of the most common. Um, so how do we do that? So you could do bit manipulation here, and that's going to be more efficient. Um, I uh, that always confuses me. I'm not going to do that. I decided not to do that. Instead, what I did is I looked at the ones and zeros in the string. Um, and what I have here is pretty janky, but basically I look at, um, so I compute the number of lines and while I'm doing that, I um, look at each character and if, the, um, if it's a one, I, uh, increment counts by one. So I'm actually just going to, I guess while I'm here, improve this a little bit. This really doesn't need to be a hash map. A, um, a vec is fine. And in fact, um, it can be um, like, yeah. And um, to create this, to figure out the size of that, we can actually just, uh, like parse the lines into um, into a vector. So there we go. Then we can say that um, yeah, for i in zero to like all the lines are the same length. So the first line. Uh, the characters in the first line, we're just going to um, push zero. And then for each line, what we're going to do here is instead of um, using our hash map, we'll just, you know, do this. Um, and we said instead of calling it counts, we're calling it ones. Okay, so for each digit here, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say the number of zeros is the number um, is the number of lines um, minus um, the number of ones. And I'm going to say if the number of ones is greater than or equal to the number of zeros. Um, let me do that. I'm just simplifying this just because that code I should not have written that way in the first try, it, it was just like, it's too easy to get wrong. Um, so let's see. Um, yeah, these, this can be a U size, that's fine. Because lines.len is always going to be longer. And actually, I'm just going to shadow this here just so I don't have to copy that a few other times. Um, and then, yeah, 
And then once you have your gamma and your epsilon values, you just need to parse those back into um, parse those back into decimal numbers, and there's a nice for string radix uh, function for that. Um, and that's basically yeah, and that's basically it. So this is what I should have written the first time, and I should have. Um, and then, yeah, that would have been a bit better. Okay. So the second problem took me just forever to figure out what I was actually asking for. Um, but basically, you start with your full list of numbers. And what you're doing is you're looking at the most common, um, most common um, digit in, each, in the first position and filtering out the ones that have the other digit, and then you're continuing that for the second column, the third column, or whatever, until you have gone through all of the, um, um, until you are going through all of the, um, you've gone through all the digits. Anyway, and that gives you the oxygen generator rating. And then you do the same thing, except with the least common digit, and that gets you the CO2 common, uh, CO2 scrubber rating. And there's another trick here, which is that um, if the zeros and ones are equally common, then for the oxygen generating, you keep ones in that position, and otherwise, and for the CO2 scrubber reading rather, you keep um, zero if they're both equally common. Um, I'll get back to that hint in a second. So basically what that looks like is you get your bunch of lines, um, and then, when you have only one line left, that's when you have your answer. That can be at the beginning of, um, or yeah, I guess, we know that we have more than one line at the beginning, so we can just check at the end, and that's fine. Um, and then basically it's, I just implemented it like literally what it asked for. Um, and I don't think there's anything really worth exploring over here. Um, the actual solution to part B is just the two ratings multiplied by each other. Um, and yeah, that that's it for me. I hope that in the future I can, you know, I have more solutions that involve less flailing, but um, didn't want don't want to make them too boring. The other thing here is just that. I really like Clippy's hints. Um, for example, like I didn't know about this, but apparently I can. Uh, it's saying I can do something like. Um, sorry, I can do something like um, vec zero lines zero dot len, and maybe that will. If that works, that's pretty neat. Um, we can even do this. Yeah, that's a really nice hint. Okay. Yeah, so thanks for watching and good night. Oh, not, sorry, I missed the zero here. So thanks for watching and good night.